So the JavaScript operators will be important to understand as we start to proceed with our programming. Let's just take a, a look at, at a few of these operators here. Um, first of all, just output these by using an alert. And then once again, you can always output these by using the console.log if you prefer. So on line four, I have my alert and you could do an alert with the plus operator and that will just simply produce a 10. I'm not even gonna test that. I'll let you, you do that if you wish to verify that for me. Um, but you can have more complex uh, uh, formulas in here if you wish. So you could do um, plus and then add another one. Uh, or we could do plus and then you have parentheses and you could do five plus five. So now we would have 10 uh, plus five would be 15 and then 20 in this case. Let me actually save that out. And I will go ahead and verify that one. So I'll come back here. Uh, let me grab my browser. I think I'm gonna actually have to test out my browser here really quick and just show you that it did result in 20. Um, you can um, have a variable, so you could have a variable, uh, just say X right now to make it a simple name, and it could equal what I just wrote in my alert. So five plus five plus five plus five, and then now the X would be equal to 20 in that case. Uh -huh. So if I alerted X, then it would produce 20. So again, I'm not gonna verify that, but if you wish to do so, you could uh, copy that code and try it out. Um, the other thing we could do is uh, we can have multiplication here. So I can type five times five, um, which would give us 25. Uh, let's see what happens if we do five times five plus five. I'll save that out and I just do a refresh on here. So we're gonna get 50 in that case, okay? So we have five plus five is 10 times the five. Um, the other operators that I wanna show is, I'll go ahead and do these just straight down into the alert. So I'm gonna take off my variable X and I'll show the greater or less than operator. So for example, five, two, and it's gonna uh, return this as a Boolean. So five is in fact greater than two as our sign shows. And then if, if you reverse this and then you have the less than right here, so five is less than two, then that should return a Boolean of false. Okay. So you could have a formula in here such as three times two and then do uh, less than or greater than two plus 100, all right? And then we could, uh, it would alert a Boolean of true or false if that, you know, depending on that. All right, the other one I'll show you is the equal sign. This one's um, an interesting one in JavaScript. So if you do five equals five, then it's gonna return a Boolean of true. Let's do five equals nine. This should return a Boolean of false. Let's test that really quickly. And in fact, it's false. So this is something that you could certainly learn, uh, load into a variable. You could say var x equals five equals nine. And that would return a Boolean value for x in that case. So let's test that out. Okay, so x is converted to a Boolean with that mathematical formula because that's not true, all right? All right, um, the other one here is equals, 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 which you'll see, and that's just checking to verify that the data type is in fact true. So here's what I mean. If you have a five in here, but this five is in quotes, if you say five equals five, well, this is gonna actually return a true in JavaScript um, because it gets confused onto that, that data type. It just, it, when you're doing this comparison with the two equal signs, it looks at it as if both were numbers. So it gets very confused. So let's change this to a equals, equals, equals. I hit save. And now if I hit refresh, it's checking on the data type to check if the data types are the same. And as we can see, they are not because one's a string and one's a number. So you're really always gonna wanna use the three equal signs because that's gonna be more precise, more exactly checking. Okay, two more here. One is not equals. So you could do not equals. 
there. This will check if it's not equal to the data type. If you have one explanation and two equal signs, it would check to see if it's not equal. You can do it with one equal sign, but then it wouldn't be checking on the data type. So uh, the explanation, two equal signs, this should give us a true because in fact, they are not equal. They are not the same data type. There we are. So it's, it, that's a true statement that five and the quote quoted five are not equal. Okay, the last one to show you is the modulus operator. Let's do um, 10, well, let's make it simple. We'll do a uh, <laughs> four modulus two. This is gonna give us a result of zero. The modulus operator tells us what is the remainder if you divide two into four in this case. So I will check on this. And our modulus, our remainder is zero. Let's do one with the remainder. So we'll do 10 modulus three. So how many times does three go into 10? Well, it's gonna go into 10 three times, and then we will should have one left over. So let's check on that and verify that case. And the modulus operator returns a value of one in this situation. So that's just a uh, few of the more common operators that we'll be using in JavaScript.